to a car. supplies energy for the car. Isn't the Golgi apparatus similar to the grill of the car? Yeah. With, with its layers, like its shape and its layers. But doesn't the Golgi apparatus like help with intracellular transport and secretion also? Yes, it does. Okay. Wait, should we go to the nucleus now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gwendolyn, what are you doing? Oh, I thought I was the nucleus of the cell. Like, the driver of the car. Because... The nucleus controls the cell just like the driver controls the car, right? Yes, now get out of the car. Now moving on. What are the vesicles part of in the car, like, similar to? The hoses. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so like if the window washer transported window washer fluid to the window washer, right? Mm hmm Just, just like, that's just like the vesicles. Because the vesicles transport mostly fluids, to different parts of the cell, and they also store. Now, wait, where'd Gwendola go? She's chilling in the car. Oh, she got bored. Okay, so, now, what are, what are these? Are those spark plugs? Yes, they are spark plugs. They are very similar to centrioles. Yeah. With their shape and cylindrical. Um, and they're in pairs, too. Yeah. See what's they all come in pairs. Um, centrioles, they actually help in cell division. So spark plugs. Spark plugs don't help in cell division. But they help in the car. Oh, they do help in the car. Duh. Anyway. Where should we go on to next? The nucleolus? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so the nucleolus, since this is a nucleus, Nucleolus is like small and spherical, and it's sometimes there in the nucleus, but it sometimes isn't. Yeah, it's kind of like, like a passenger. A passenger, you're right. Um, doesn't it occur in the cell during interface? Yeah, I think it does. Now, the ribosomes they create and transport proteins throughout the cell, yeah. just like air. Like it makes air. The air conditioner makes air and transports it throughout the car. Now, Gwendola. Are you learning any of this? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, since Gwendola is not really paying any attention, what does, like, how does a GPS work in a car? I mean, it's not even attached. But it still guides directions. That's true. Well, kind of like chromosomes? Yeah. In a cell, well, chromosomes are a thread-like structure of nucleic acids and proteins found in a nucleus of most living cells. It carries genetic information in the forms of genus. This carries information too. I guess that's true. Wait. Gwendola, you better be getting this. <laughs> 
Wow. Below. Now, the windows. They're kind of similar to... The nuclear envelope? Yeah, they are. Like, it controls the air traffic from in and out of the car, just like the nuclear envelope, or the nucleic membrane, controls nuclear currents, like, in and out of the cell. Yeah. That is, like, crazy how much a car resembles a cell. Now, let's go <laughs> to the trunk and see wow, what Wow, it's resembles. really roomy in here. It reminds me of a vacuum. It stores stuff. I guess that's true. Just like a vacuum. I mean, a vacuum does store things for later use. Yeah. Just like a trunk. But... What the, what the heck are you doing? <clears throat> what are you doing? Get down from there! This is like a chloroplast. What, because the light goes in? Yeah. Well... I guess it is kind of like chloroplast. I mean, it does look light into a cell. But the chloroplast makes photosynthesis happen. I guess you're right. But still, get down from there. It's legit. Oh, blah, blah. Woo! So, what do you think a gas tank resembles to? Hmm, a smooth endoplasmic reticulum? Yeah, because the system of membranous tubes and sacs that function in the lipid synthesis and act as a storage organelle holds, holds proteins and ions for later use, just like a gas tank does when you put the gas in it. Okay. Are you, are you getting it? What is this? Oh, the tailpipe? Really? What does it do? It releases all the unwanted and bad stuff. So kind of like life zones. It releases all the unwanted and broken down stuff in the cell. Yeah. That's pretty cool. See, I didn't know. Now the tires, they look like cilia and flagella. They don't look like it, but they resemble. Like, don't they take the car wherever in movement, the motion? Movement, yeah. Huh. That's exactly what cilia and flagella are. What about the frame of the car? That looks similar to the yeah, it's the outer shape of the cell. And it gives it its shape. Now, oh my gosh, I can't believe I never noticed this. The doors, they look like the plasma membrane. They control traffic from in and out of the car. I didn't notice that, that's awesome. Just like a plasma membrane in a cell. You know, everything inside the car reminds me of the cytoplasm. Yeah, because everything inside the cell other than the nucleus is part of the cytoplasm. Thank you so much for helping us. You're welcome. Would you like to come back to our house for some milk and cookies? Yeah! Yeah! Roll the roof off the place.